Yeah, hello everyone. So today I'll be showing us how to write business plans um, using um, that GPT or Google Barb. Yeah, this has become very important because um, obviously AI is replacing a lot of things. Maybe if you found a way to do it more seamlessly, um, I bet you would um, jump on it. So, so the difference, so both Google Bard and ChatGPT are both AI generative um, text applications, but we'll be using two of them for different things. Now, most of the videos you might be seeing on this subject might just focus on ChatGPT. So there are different strengths in that while ChatGPT Char GPT is um, best for generating texts, while um, Google Bad is best for structures or for numbers, um, statistics, and stuff like that. So we will use Char GPT for most of the um, business plan writing. But when it comes to things like um, marketing sites, um, we'll go onto Google Bad. And the reason is very simple. Google is the biggest search engine in terms of helping you find statistics, helping you find numbers, helping you find um, figures. So we'll be, we'll be, we'll be using the one of them um, as we go on. So, but I would, um, so this is gonna be very simple to use um, already an existing template for business plan writing uh, that is credited to I'm the Tony Elmer Foundation. So they have this business plan writing template that I'll be using. I also drop the template for you all or the, the link so you can download. It's um, basically for um, applicants of the Tony Elmer Foundation, but it's quite standard. And you can also use it for other applications as well. Just remember to remove the, the logo of the foundation if you intend using it for other grants. Or you can just possibly just reference it for other grants. You know, you don't have to use the template as it is. You can just use the template um, as a point of reference. All right, so I will quickly share my screen and then we'll get onto it immediately. Um, all right. Yeah, so um, one of the most important things about writing the business plan is that, yes, these chat tools can help you do a lot of things, but it's important for you to even understand what you're doing, right? So you have to understand what it is because it's more like garbage in, garbage out. Whatever you tell the computer to do for you, it's what it's going to do for you. So you have to understand what you're doing so you can ask the right questions. So if you don't ask the right questions, you, you get the wrong answers. All right, so here we have an introduction, all of these guys, and we'll take it slowly. All right, we'll take it one after the other until the very end. All right, so we will start with introduction. So obviously, the, this guy is the last thing we'll, we'll, we'll do. So we'll come back to this later, all right? So we'll come back to this later. So this is going to be the last thing we'll do because the executive summary is a summary of all of the idea, right? So you can't really have an executive summary if you've not had other, if you don't know what the other content is gonna look like. So it, it's, the summary is is the first thing on a business plan because this is what the, the investor wants to see first because if they look at your summary and they're not feeling it, they're not gonna grow the rest or your, your summary has to be on point. So when the investor looks at your executive summary, they can like, they, they, they can, you know, have the interest to go and look at the rest of your work. So, so yeah. So we're gonna skip this and come this and come back to this after we're done with the rest. So, um, now the introduction. So what's intro what's this about? So this is really about this question about your um your idea. So this is like the idea description. You know, is in the research and development stage or or in the market entry stage, growth stage. Again, this is not a business plan um, writing tutorial. I'm not going to start explaining this in details. I am just going to um, 
to show you how to write this, how to get this information from ChatGPT. And if you want the story of how to write a business plan, there's a separate video for that. If you look through our channel, you'll see that. So, um, so basically, the overview, I'm still going to discuss your idea, the visual statement, the visual statement, the objectives, and all of that, right? So, develop proposition as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open ChatGPT and Google Bad, and then I'll feed it information that I want it to give me answers to. All right, it's that simple. So, um, so I think I have ChatGPT open somewhere. Yeah, here. So I'm just going to start a conversation with it. You know, I mean, there are different ways to go about it. I don't say ChatGPT. I don't say I want to write a business plan on what are we, what are we gonna write on now so um what's easiest to write about let's use um pot water that's something everybody can relate to right so what's the this plan on bottle water bottle water company in Lagos, let's use Lagos. I will supply you the information needed to write this. Why well, am I specifying this? Because if I if I just say, okay, let's do an example. I want to write this from Bottle Water Company in Lagos. If I just do this, um, it's gonna probably start writing the business plan in a way I don't want or just start giving me guidelines, you know, let's just send this. If I send this, I want to just start, are you still in now? It's to start giving me an example of how to do it. I don't, this is not what I want. So what I want is to tell it, I want to, um, write a business plan on, um, put to what, uh, I will supply with the information needed to write this. If I if I type this, it's gonna say, um, it's gonna. Be, I'd be happy to help you write a business plan for your bottle water company in Lagos. Please, he has asked me to supply this information to it, right? So, um, what I'm just gonna do is, I'm gonna go back to. I don't have any idea. Remember, I don't have any idea. Of course, if I have, I don't have any idea how to go about it. Of course, if I have the idea of how to go about it, I will do it myself. So I just copy all of this, all of these questions. So this, this is a prompt of what I wanted to tell me. So I wanted to describe the business, you know, for me. You know, I would wanted to generate a vision statement. I wanted to generate a vision statement. I want, I wanted to help me come with an objective. You know, now I want it to help me write the value proposition. So if I copy this, all of this, and then get back to the web, I'm gonna paste it here. Just remove this. Then I'm gonna tell it simple. I just have an idea of. But so, what are in Lagos? Can you help provide responses? Can you help me, or just can you help me write? Can you help me write the intro doctrine? Section of my business plan using the above prompts. Using the above prompts. So the above prompts are all of this that I've put here. All right. So, and you can also just let it know the business is in in the idea stage. Just so. Um, you give it um, 
context in the earlier stage. The name of the business is Evolve Bottle Water. Um, what else can we see? So this is basically it. Um, and it's based in Lagos. Full stop. So this is all I'm going to tell you. So what it's going to do is going to use this little information and then generate all of this text, right? So, and then as you can see, it's still writing it. Involve business water is currently in the research and blah, 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 blah. You know, vision, our vision for Evolve water is to become the preferred but water brand in Lagos for five years. Mission statement, this objective, the listed objectives for me and the uh, value proposition, it has done that as well, right? Brilliant. And what I'll do is I'll just copy out. Remember, this is just, this, um, you have also the work, you have the work to do in terms of reading to ensure um, it is um, giving you what you want, right? So uh, I'm not going to bother much about to define the text now. Just, I'll just go on with it. I mean, you can possibly read it later to see if it's saying what you want, you know, and then you can align the text properly. So the next thing we we'll have is the product and services. So here, um, describe your product and service, you know, so I'll copy it, just about that, copy it, Take it there, paste it, and tell the computer, describe the computer, sorry, describe the product service um, uh, you are producing or you will produce, you know, and remove this. Yeah, so if you have a particular product, product in mind, you can, you, can, you can say, oh, um the two products we have is um what was the size of a bottle water again? Let me let me, let me just use one kg and two kg bottle water. We also have the sachet water. All right. So this this I'll just give it context. Yeah. So remember I told you earlier, you have to feed it information, you know, so it, it can have a context to give you what you want. If you don't, if you don't give it this sort of context, it's gonna generate responses that you may not like. For instance, here it's, it, 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 I, I told you that the name of the business is Evolve Bot Water. So it is generating text based on Evolve Bot Water, like, you know, packaging right up. So I don't have so much work to do in terms of editing. So, um, once I hit this, it's gonna start describing my stuff for me. Yeah. So it's gonna help me. So it's in terms of um uh so this is more like saving time for you. You know what you want. What you don't know how to do is how to put into writing or how to or the time to put into writing. So you know what you want. The, your idea is in your head, everything you have is in your head. So you are feeding in the information and it's doing amazingly well, as you can see. 2 kg bottle water, the 2 kg bottle water variant is perfect for families and groups, you know. It's, it's going to help you put a good write-up that um, investors would like to read. You know, if I'm an investor, I wouldn't mind if you use the chat GPT. And as long as what you've written, you are okay with it, uh, and um, you can defend, defend it. So it's also going on to give you additional, you know, um, information about quality assurance, about the environmental commitments, you know, you know, stuff like that. Um, uh, just copy it and then come back here, paste it. Like I said, I'm not going to bother about defining the text because I'm this is just a demo. So I would just just make it bright, you know, just make it bright. That's it. Then I'll move on. So, so here is the interesting part because here, that GPT doesn't do so much good here. Right, so and you see why, what I mean by that in a minute. So here, ChatGPT is gonna, you know, 
give you all of this. So we're talking about the industrial market analysis. So I, I would expect that normally what you should do normally is to go on Google, start researching the markets, you know, do your survey and stuff like that. But that can be time consuming. So you don't want that as well. So what you probably want to do is to um, use AI tools to to find what those things are. So but GPT is not quite good at that. And I have found Google, Google Bad to be better in terms of market analysis. So but just to give just to you know um show you what I mean. So if I go back to Chat GPT and I paste this and I'm asking Chat GPT to study the industry or the sector, to study the key features. So in particular, to study the size of the market, the segment, specific group, you know, market, target market, those numbers and whatever, whatever it is I need. If I send this to Chat GPT, it will give me reasonable responses. Yeah. So it's gonna give me these responses. But as someone, and this is actually okay, it's telling me the legal statement has taken measure to support port water industry, including including initiatives to improve water quality, which is correct. If you go online, you see this information. You know, it's telling me all of those this market size. But if you call the market size here, it is not really giving me any number here, yeah? which is very important if you're pushing to an investor. So here it's saying the bottom water, the bottom water market in Lagos is substantial. So it's using the word substantial. It's not really telling me, oh, the bottom water in Lagos is two million people or stuff like that. If, if you get what I mean. So it's not giving me substantial number. If if, if I even go on and if I even go on to say, please can you Of course, like I said, nothing. There's nothing. It's not showing numbers, figures, or any of these things. So, um, I've given it, it. I've written down this. Please, can you include number and figures to the analysis? But it still doesn't help. You know, when I type this, it generated numbers. You know, it's it's inserted numbers. But these numbers are just studio numbers. If you watch here, it says. Certainly, why I don't have access to the data, I can provide you with hypothetical numbers and figures. So this is not what we want. We don't want hypothetical numbers and figures. Mm -hmm. We want actual numbers and figures. So this is where I prefer bad, you know. So Google bad. Um, so what I will just do, so I'll just copy this out. I'll copy all of this out, all of this thing, all of this writing that ChatGPT has done. I'll copy them out and I'll copy them onto Google bad. I'll post it there. I'll tell Google Bad, hey, or whatever this one to call it, and say, please, can you rewrite this and use actual industry based numbers? You know, that's all you have to do. For Google Bad and Google would um, give you the actual numbers, right? To so show sure I can write the passage and use actual industry based numbers. Here is the revised passage. So everything you're seeing here is non correct. If I've got water put in the bottom water sector, blah, 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 the sector has been experiencing robust growth with an average growth rate of around 10%. So from here, we could see that this industry is growing 10% yearly. We could see the urbanization rate of Lagos. We could see the population of Lagos people. You know, it's it's much more concise. It, it, it's telling you the market size now. Uh, Lagos Lagosians consumes three billion three billion liters per year, which is what so the market is what thirty billion naira, right? So, you know, it's much more concise what you have here, and you can copy it out and use it for your market analysis. You know, and um. Of course, from this tax billion naira, you might want to now state how much of this you take, you take, you can capture, right? So the job of these tools is to give you, is help you put the right up, but you can still read through and see if you can add one or two things, you know, here and there. So it's saying that 75% of bottled water sold in Lagos are in the retail. People who buy one bottle, two bottles, one, one pack, 15% is being consumed by hotels, 10% is being consumed by events, maybe seminars, gatherings. So you see, it's broken down distance for you. I mean, what, what more can you ask for? Save you that um, time 
could have invested in research. So what? So that's basically how you go through it. And the same thing for competition. If I put this here, I also like to use Google Bad for competition analysis. I've, okay, I've already done something. So I'll just share. So here, for Lagos bottle water, if I put, if I ask it to give me competitive analysis, it has done this for me. You know, aqua, aqua pure, hydro fresh. You know, but this is kind of boring. I, I need, you know, much more names. I need images as well. So I'll rather, you know, go to Google Bad, and Google Bad will give you something much more spicier. So always know the difference. Always know when to use um, Google Bad. I want to use ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is more like generative text. It's very powerful in giving you texts of any amount. But Google Bad will, bring, will give you the actual numbers, actual figures, add images. Google Bad can give you as much text as ChatGPT will give you. So as you can see, it's, it's even showing everybody knows Aquafina. It's putting the images. You know, everybody knows um, Remy. And stuff like that. If you wanted to do it again, you know, see Nestle Pure Life and all of this water, it's going to give you everything, uh, like even the images, and break it out for you. So all you need to do is to go through it and see what, it, see what it's like and copy it and put it into your document. As simple as that, right? And, and I'll just skip all of this because it's much more the same thing. If you copy this and put there, it's going to generate. SWOT analysis for you for this pure business industry. Then you can read you can read it and see if it applies to you. So I'll give an example just one more time and then we can go to the financials. I want to point out something there. So if I come here, I would prefer to use um, ch um chat GPT for this because it's much more of text. If I come here, um you see, it's giving you your strength, your weakness. But, but from the strength here, yeah, it says things that I, I don't agree with. A simple part of my strength is financial resources. I don't have financial resources, you know. So when I'm copying this, I will remove this part. I will remove this part because I've already told it I have 4 million naira. That's the capital I need. Remember, the capital requirement we wanted to do is 4 million naira. So it's assuming. Okay, I've not so it has it has assumed formula as a capital requirement. I did something earlier, you know. I did something earlier, so it's picked up the capital requirements, you know, when I was working on the budget for this particular video. So it's picked up four million naira. So it's assuming that I have the four million naira already. So but my the point I'm trying to make, I guess, is when you send it um text to help you write go through to see it it um matches what you what you want and then you can edit it to suit yourself so that is for swords something for operations plan marketing plan pretty much if i copy this thing and put there it to bring out marketing ideas for me marketing marketing plan business plans for me and then i can you know refine it the way i want if it's if i don't like it so for the financial plan this is a bit more tricky of course, like I said, nothing. There's nothing. It's not showing numbers, figures, or any of these things. So, um, I've given it, it. I've written down this. Please, can you include number and figures to the analysis? But it still doesn't help. You know, when I type this, it generated numbers. You know, it's it's inserted numbers. But these numbers are just studio numbers. If you watch here, it says. Certainly, why I don't have access to the data, I can provide you with hypothetical numbers and figures. So this is not what we want. We don't want hypothetical numbers and figures. Mm -hmm. We want actual numbers and figures. So this is where I prefer bad. You know, so Google bad. Um, so what I will just do, so I'll just copy this out. I'll copy all of this out, all of this thing, all of this writing that ChatGPT has done. I'll copy them out and I'll copy them onto Google bad. I'll post it there. I'll tell Google Bad, hey, or whatever this one to call it, and say, please, can you rewrite this and use actual industry 
based numbers, you know. That's all you have to do for Google Bad, and Google would um, give you the actual numbers, right? So sure, I can write the passage and use actual industry based numbers. Here is the revised passage. So everything you're seeing here is now correct. If all of water operates in the bottom water sector, blah blah blah, the sector has been experiencing robust growth with an average growth rate of around 10%. So from here, we could see that this industry is growing 10% yearly. We could see the urbanization rate of Lagos. We could see the population of Lagos people. You know, it's it's much more concise. It, it, it's telling you the market size now. Uh, Lagos, Lagosians consumes 3 billion, 3 billion liters per year, which is what, so the market is what, 30 billion naira, right? So, you know, it's much more concise what you have here. And you can copy it out and use it for your market analysis, you know? And, um, of course, from this 30 billion naira, you, you, you want to now state how much of this you, you think you can capture, right? So, the job of these tools is to give you, is help you put the right up, but you can still read through and see if you can add one or two things, you know, here and there. So it's saying that 75% of bottled water sold in Lagos are in the retail. People who buy one bottle, two bottles, one, one pack. 15% is being consumed by hotels. 10% is being consumed by events, maybe seminars, gatherings. So you see, it's broken down distance for you. I mean, what, what more can you ask for? saved you that um time you could have invested in research so what so that's basically how you go through it and the same thing for competition if i put this here i also like to use google bad for competition analysis I've, okay i've already done something so i'll just share so here for lagos bottle water if i put if i ask it to give me competitive analysis it has done this for me you know, aqua, aqua pure, hydro fresh, you know, but this is kind of boring. I, I need, you know, much more names. I need images as well. So I'll rather, you know, go to Google Bad and Google Bad will give you something much more spicier. So always know the difference. Always know when to use um, Google Bad. I want to use ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is more like generative text. It's very powerful in giving you texts of any amount. But Google Bad will bring will give you the actual numbers, actual figures, add images. Google Bad can give you as much text as ChatGPT will give you. So as you can see, it's it's even showing everybody knows Aquafina. It's putting the images. You know, everybody knows um, Remy and stuff like that. If you wanted to do it again. You know, see Nestle Pure Life and all of this water, it's going to give you everything, uh, like even the images, and break it out for you. So, all you need to do is to go through it and see what, it, see what it's like and copy it and put it into your document. As simple as that, right? And and I'll just skip all of this because it's much more the same thing. If you copy this and put there, it's going to generate SWOT analysis for you. For this pure business industry, then you can read you can read it and see if it applies to you. So I'll give an example, just one more time, and then we can go to the financials. I want to point out something there. So if I come here, I would prefer to use um, ch um, Chat GPT for this because it's much more of text. If I come here, um, you see. It's giving you your strength, your weakness. But, but from the strength here, yeah, it says things that I, I don't agree with. A simple part of my strength is financial resources. I don't have financial resources, you know. So when I'm copying this, I will remove this part. I will remove this part because I've already told it I have four million naira. That's the capital I need. Remember, the capital requirement we wanted to do is four million naira. So it's assuming. Look, I've not so it has it, it has assumed four million naira as capital requirement. I did something earlier, you know. I did something earlier, so it's picked up the capital requirements, you know, when I was working on the budget for this particular video. So it's picked up four million naira. So it's assuming that I have the four million naira already. So, but my the point I'm trying to make, I guess, is when you send it, 
um, text to help you write a good rules. It it um, matches what you what you want, and then you can edit it to suit yourself. So that is for swords, something for operations plan, marketing plan. Pretty much, if I copy this thing and put there, it will bring out marketing ideas for me, marketing marketing plan, business plan for me, and then I can, you know. I find it the way I want if it's if I don't like it. So for the financial plan, this is a bit more tricky 